Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a general timeless reading for Pisces. Let's see. What messages are coming in for the Pisces Collective? This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be using our friend's deck. I haven't used this in a while, but I love it. <laughs> and we're going to be tapping into any potential guidance that Spirit wants to bring your way. So if you are new here, rules for the channel. If there is something that resonates, as soon as something resonates, like the video. If three things resonate, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, you can comment. And if you don't know what to comment, you can just leave an emoji. That's fine. And if more than three things resonate with you, um, and if you've been here for years, you have been, you know, coming time and time again um, to check out these readings and, you know, you have found support or, you know, even a space of just relaxation within them, consider becoming a member of the channel. 99 cents per month. You can do the donations through the... Uh, little join button that is somewhere around the channel. All right. Spirit, universe, beings of love and light, please bring in the most accurate, powerful, relevant messages for Pisces. So I see that some of you have been feeling stuck. You've been wanting to um Make some changes, make some progress, but it's not happening, or it hasn't happened as you wanted it to. I see that some of you are frustrated with resources, so you could be feeling like you need more money to live the life that you want to live. Some of you may be frustrated with tips, is what I heard. Um, there may have been a big uh, change in tips recently at where you work or, you know, and that may be making you feel unstable. Some of you here are having a difficulty that, ha that has something to do with spending. Maybe you're spending too much. Or maybe you're having a hard time spending on things that would be good for you. But I feel like most of you are having trouble prioritizing. It seems like you're, you know, spending on the wrong things. Or you may feel frustrated overall about how you are allocating your resources. Some of you, it's like, you know, I have this amount of energy a day and I don't think I'm using it right. Others of you are like, I have this amount of money coming in every month, but I don't think I'm using that right. It seems like there's consideration and a lot of thought around resources and how those are, you know, being dealt with. And I feel like this is not for necessarily only about you dealing with your resources. This could be someone, let's say that you are... Um, someone's assistant or someone's manager or something like that and you realize this person is not properly prioritizing things maybe it's your spouse maybe it's, it's um your parents someone here seems to be dealing with resources in a way that is not to your liking or that you don't consider ideal could be you could be someone else but there's some frustration here okay now, what I see is that the universe is guiding you to correct certain behaviors 
because you are meant to be this king of pentacles. And not just because you got a lucky break, not just because, you know, a certain abundance came in. This the the king of of pentacles here is showing us a you <laughs> that is transformed through habit, through knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you really master the game of money <laughs> and everything that has to do with the physical. So I always count in the physical body as well. And it's like, this is not a whim. Maybe in the past you've had success and it came in and it came out, you know, like it didn't really stick. And I feel Pisces that you're entering a phase in which it's not going to be like glamorous how a certain amount of money or stability or success arrives. It's not going to be loud. It's just going to be very well managed. I do feel like some of you may be getting a lot of help by like the lottery and stuff like that. I do sense that. But for the vast majority of you, it's more of the little things you do every single day. How you show up in your work every single day. Every choice that you make, am I going to get takeout? Am I not? You know, am I going to buy this property that is not ideal? Or am I going to wait for the right one? You know, it's like in those decisions, some of them clearly smaller than others, um, is when and where you're going to start to shine. Consistency, Pisces. I see a lot of impulsivity. I see that... Yeah, I feel like Spirit is telling you no. No... No shenanigans, Pisces. No craziness. No... No... I feel like the Knight of Pentacles here and the Hand Man are very similar in a lot of ways. This is showing up in the past and this in the future. So it's like stuck, impulsive, stuck. Both of these are being stuck by choice though. So that's good. In the recent past, you may have been maybe holding out or holding back from making an important move because you really wanted to know where you want to go, what you want. I see that some of you have been really contemplating long-term possibilities and that's why you haven't made necessarily a move or put down like a down payment or it's like you're you're holding back from making important moves but now Pisces in the present you're going to be getting a lot of opportunities for success if you handle these well you can get to where you want to go. If you handle them impulsively, spontaneously, irresponsibly, you're going to get right back <laughs> into feeling stuck. So what I see is that some of you are actually working on breaking a cycle. It's funny. I feel like it has a lot to do with money, to be honest. like I feel like this is kind of like a money reading. I see some of you being like, okay, when you are very tight, when you don't have a lot of money to spare, when things are rough, you know exactly what to do, you know exactly how you should manage money. But then the money comes in and it's like you completely forget all about that and you start making really poor choices. <laughs> so Spirit is saying, like, write down exactly what you know is the right way of handling something. And then when it comes in, just follow those steps on the paper that you wrote, okay? Because some of you, it's like you immediately feel so comfortable and supported by the universe that you completely forget about what you've recently learned on how you should take care of certain things. I don't know. It's odd. If this resonates with you, please like. If three things have resonated with you, subscribe or comment. If more than three things have resonated with you, let me know or consider becoming a member, 99 cents per month. 
I do see here that in the near future with the hangman, you're continuing to evaluate possibilities. Some of you are really planning some big, massive changes. Big, massive changes, like moving to a completely different area, a country you don't know in. You may be thinking of moving industries completely. And it seems like it's a big move, literally or, you know, more in an abstract way. And there's a lot of choices that you're making, contemplating. I don't feel like the entire image is going to be clear to you this month. I feel like the, the full-blown clarity is going to come more around 2025, to be honest, if you're resonating with this reading. Careful with rewarding systems, you know? Uh, because with the Nine of Cups, it's like, if you make something really good happen, some of you are like, well, I did this, I'm so proud of myself, I deserve this, so I'm going to splurge and waste a big chunk of money or energy, resources, whatever it is. And Spirit is saying, rewards are good, celebration is good, but it has to be almost like 10 times smaller than what some of you are making it to be. I saw like a, I don't know, if you guys have ADHD, you've probably heard about this, like pricing systems, reward systems, things like that. And let's say that you have a task that really is just like dreadful and you hate it, but you have to do it. And it takes everything from you to do it. And you're procrastinating it and it's a mess. Um, for like ADHDers, sometimes it's like, oh, you know, you get... Kind of like with children too, like if you do the task, you get the fancy coffee that you can't really afford on a regular basis, things like that. Um, and it helps to break through that barrier of executive dysfunction sometimes. Um, but if you do that for every single task, like, you know what I mean? Like you're not going to be necessarily functioning in a proper way. It's just going to be very counterproductive <laughs> so it's like and i say coffee here because she has like coffee mugs this is phoebe from friends um but it could be anything it could be you know for me it's art supplies it's like okay if i get this thing done or i get this amount of whatever is done per week i get that super cute sketchbook i want or whatever and it's not really necessarily about the item or its value. It's kind of like that how it makes our inner child feel, honestly. It's like as excited as you get, that's how easier it is usually for ADHDers to overpass that executive dysfunction gap from knowing what you need to do, wanting to do what you need to do, but not finding a way to do it. Some of you could benefit from this rewarding system so you know look it up but at the same time be mindful of what you really want to accomplish right because Pisces if what you want to accomplish is being productive in order to make more money but you're rewarding yourself in a way that makes you spend all the money you're making like what you know <laughs> I hope that makes sense if this makes sense at all let me know and shout out to all fellow ADHDers out there. Let me know in the comment section if you are a fellow ADHDer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. <laughs> You're part of uh, the lucky ones. No, I'm just saying. Part of the neurotypicals. With the Five of Swords here, I see that some of you are dealing with someone who wants to win at all costs, or you may feel like you need to win at all costs. Priorities may be a little all over the place. 
Focus on the tiny little things, the habits, the choices, the decisions that you make every day, and build quiet success. There could be people around you who are very loud at celebrating what they have accomplished. And even though you may be very happy for them, you may feel kind of like a pressure to show, show your success, show your accomplishment, or be attracted to like big, loud accomplishments as opposed to what Spirit is advising you here, which is very stable, consistent, little efforts. Don't worry about feeling like you're not going fast enough because with the Knight of Swords, I see a lot of like speed in the near future, okay? So you're going from zero to a hundred. You're going from zero to how did this happen so quickly? But it's not going to happen by making one swift choice. As I mentioned, it's going to happen through those little moments that you know, get sort of, um, they build on each other and create momentum. Be careful not to be reckless. Be careful not to let things fall through the cracks. Be careful not to allow your celebration of things to make you have like a lot of negative consequences in other areas. Try to be grounded. Universe, what is the best advice that you have for Pisces at this time? What is the best advice that you have for Pisces? Okay, so this card is called Ama what? Amalthea. Amalthea? Amalthea? Card number 41. So let's say what this or let's see what this oracle has to say. This is from the Love Your Inner Goddess by Elena Fairchild. Ooh, and look at that! It opened right at the page that we need. Your soul is learning about love, whether you fully realize it or not. You are breaking free from a pattern of relationship that is not being respectful enough to you and your heart. This includes the relationship you have with yourself and others, be they friends, romantic connections, colleagues, or strangers, even the universe. As you allow yourself to feel worthy and release feelings of hate, shame, guilt, or judgment towards yourself, a new spirit of gentleness, love, and devotion will fill your heart and transform the quality of your connections with others and the universe. A beautiful new world of love is opening for you. Amalthea, or Amalthea, I don't know, the ancient goddess of nurturing, asks you to have faith in your ability to love and in the power of your heart. Perhaps you doubt your heart sometimes, wondering if it is pure enough, if your love is enough. Maybe you convince yourself that you have to do more or be more than the beautiful being that you already are. You must stop torturing yourself with these mean mind games. They are not good for you and they're not true. When negativity threatens to put you down, let your soul speak from a space of feminine power and quiet inner assurance. As you say, I affirm myself and my love. Me and my heart are more than enough. Your heart is one of the special ones, Pisces. It has the, cap the capacity to love in an unusual, expansive way. Your heart is one that can care for the whole world. Within your heart is healing warmth, that can touch people, even complete strangers, and change your lives for the better. You don't need to try and make this happen. It happens naturally when you're just being you. The goddess who soothes and reassures you of your heart's power is here and reassures you of your value. What you and how you love is enough. She reminds you to open your heart to yourself, to love yourself too. All right. 
So loving yourself as you move through this, I don't know if it's a situation, but I don't feel like it's just one thing. I think that it's more like a phase or like a chapter, a moment in time. Um, so try to love yourself as much as possible, Pisces. Love yourself, give yourself compassion, but also love yourself enough to do what you need to do. Okay? All right, Pisces. So that's what I got for you today. Remember, if something resonated, like... If three things resonated, subscribe or comment with an emoji or a full-blown comment if it resonates with you. And if more than three things have resonated, please consider becoming a member of the channel. And YouTube will be discounting from the credit or debit card that you choose, 99 cents per month. And that is a huge help, Pisces. I know it doesn't sound like a huge help, but it really, really is. Okay, So consider it, my loves, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.